You're about to learn a really nifty shortcut for this derivative problem, but only if you stick around until the end. So grab a mug in the description below, bring your coffee into the dojo, and let's get started. I covered this particular derivative in another video you can check out. And if you remember, I did briefly mention in that video that there was an even faster way to solve this than how I showed there. So what I'm going to do here is do something that many of you are avoiding. A lot of you avoid implicit differentiation because it seems like it's a tough method, but believe it or not, it's the fastest way to go on this problem. So what I'm going to do is because I see x raised to some complicated power, sine of x, for problems like this, that's already a hint to me that I should really consider taking the natural log of both sides because we know them for the right-hand side here, we can use a rule of logarithms where that sine of x power can be brought to the front. And so what's really nice about this is if you look at this now and take the derivative of both sides independently, the right side is now going to be a very simple product rule. And then for the left side, this is where the magic of implicit differentiation comes in. Now, many of you might struggle with this and you get goofed up on what you do with the dy over dx notation. And you can check out this other video if you want for more tips on implicit differentiation. But for now, what I'm going to just simply say here in this video is that because I have the letter y only appearing on the left and the letter x only appears here is on the right, then when I take the derivative of both sides, because everything is separated out, for the left-hand side here, I will treat natural log of y as if it were a control variable like x, and just take the derivative of it, which would be 1 over y, but then put dy over dx in front, right? Because I took the derivative with respect to y as the control variable. Now, for the right, I don't put dx over dx here. You can do that if you want, if it helps you out, like in the video I had mentioned. But ultimately, for the right, you know this. You know that you're just simply taking a product rule for any function with respect to x's derivative. So you get cosine of x times natural log of x for the first term, plus now taking the derivative of natural log of x itself, that'll give you one over x here, times the original left term, which is sine of x. And before I go on to actually solve this further, if you're finding value in my videos and you haven't already, be sure to need to kick that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss my future tips and tricks. And if you wanna watch those videos early, just in time for your exam, you can become a member for just a dollar a month. So check that out below as well. So moving on, what I wanna do now is because I have dy over dx on the left, but there is this one over y in front, we really wanna get dy over dx isolated on that side of the equation, right? So multiplying both sides by y will isolate dy over dx on the left. And now we have this y factor in front of everything in brackets here. But we can't just stop here because if we wanna get our true answer, it needs to be in terms of only x on the right-hand side, right? But we know what x is it's x to the sine of x, giving you the final answer.